is a national day of mourning for President George Herbert Walker Bush. The nation's 41st president died last week at the age of 94. This is a live picture now from the Capitol Rotunda, where thousands of mourners have paid their respects through the night. Later this morning, the president will be moved from the Capitol Rotunda to the National Cathedral for a state funeral. CBS's Nicole Killian is on Capitol Hill now with more. A state funeral for President George H.W. Bush will be held this morning at the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. All of the living presidents are expected to attend, including President Trump, who met with the Bush family yesterday. Why isn't the president giving the eulogy? And it's because we have a unique circumstance here. My brother was president. No. <laughs> it won't be the first time President George W. Bush addressed the National Cathedral in a time of mourning. On Tuesday, our country was attacked with deliberate and massive cruelty. Three days after the September 11th terror attacks, he spoke to a country in crisis. His father was in the front row. The emotions were unbelievably high. I got through the speech and I got sat down uh, in the pew there and uh, I felt his hand as my dad. It was very, very comforting, uh, and the emotions of it are still with me. Thousands have come to Capitol Hill since Monday to pay their final respects while the late president lies in state. Yesterday, his family greeted some of the mourners. It was more rewarding for me to be able to hug people who were actually grieving and crying and, and to be able to share, I don't know, the strength that I know that I get from being able to celebrate a life that's so well lived. Earlier in the day, former Senate Majority Leader Bob Dole was helped to his feet to stand and salute his fellow World War II veteran. Nicole Killian for CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And there will be much more on the funeral for President George H.W. Bush ahead on CBS This Morning. It's coming up at 7 o'clock right after Eyewitness News This Morning right here on CBS 3.